What's up, guys? So I just wanted to share with you guys a really cool resource that I've been following for quite a few years, actually. And I think they have been proving a lot for the last few months. And they finally reached a point where it's pretty, pretty good. So it's the Open Source Society University. It's basically a GitHub repository. And basically, they compile the best courses in each particular area of computer science, exactly as you would have in a CS degree, and really organized in a awesome manner. So for example, introduction to programming, they recommend this Python for everyone, they have a description, and then intro to computer science, they say, a lot of these courses I've done myself because I really enjoy online courses. So I've done the computer science MIT course, uh, programming languages I'm planning on doing. This was uh, how to code was at UBC. I learned a lot of it. Uh, calculus, linear algebra. So everything you would learn in uh, mathematics for computer science. Uh, and then I think this is the best part if you're interested in computer science so introduction to cs50 as you guys probably know by following my channel this is in my opinion the best course for learning computer science then to tetris where you build a computer from scratch using a simulator not only you build the architecture but the operating systems the compilers pretty awesome stuff i finished the first course i'm halfway through the second Gotta get back to it, but it's really good. Operating Systems 3 Easy Piece is an amazing book uh, that talks about operating systems. I've read it like two, three times. Amazing. And Introduction to Computer Networking. They use a really good book as well. So if you click, you're taking to the resource. I think this is a very well curated list. Uh, and if you're a self-taught web uh, developer, or if you are, uh, so algorithms, they teach a lot too. So if you're a self-taught developer or bootcamp grad and you wanna like learn the more uh, like computer science-y things, I think this is a great, great resource. They've just created a Discord channel, which is pretty active. So you can go here. It's split by the subject you're taking and I assume people are pretty helpful. So I think this is awesome. This is awesome. Would I take this if I hadn't studied computer science at school? Yes, but with a caveat. I think the list of courses is amazing. If you follow this list, you get an education better than I think every single college, including MIT, Harvard. Why do I say that? because they do have MIT courses, but some MIT courses are not good. Some Harvard courses are not good, it's true. So for every single course, they've picked the best. So for example, calculus, they use the MIT calculus, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, so MIT calculus. So they really have really the best schools that offer the best courses, amazing. Why would I say uh, this is not extremely ideal because coding is hard. You are gonna get stuck and you're gonna not get unmotivated. I believe I'm like from all my circle of friends, I'm the most like motivated person I know to that takes like online courses. And I'm still not very good at it. I, I've dropped a bunch of online courses I've taken because it's really hard to stick through the course, uh, motivate yourself. So if I was self-taught, how would I go about approaching this list? I probably hire a tutor for every single course. So like CS50, it's really hard. Uh, I teach CS50, for example, and it's really hard finishing without help. Uh, you can go to Discord, but then it takes some time to answer. Sometimes you need someone to sit with you and show what you don't know. For example, I'm going to learn probability, which is actually here in this list. I think it's somewhere up here. I'm going to take it next year 
uh, here, probability from MIT, I think. Yeah, this one. Uh, so this course I've been planning on taking for a long time. I have attempted two, two times already. Oh, they, they are using the Harvard now, but there is a MIT one, which I tried twice and I couldn't like go past the second week. Why? Because it's hard to get motivated. So I'll, next time I'm hiring a tutor. Even if it costs some money, it costs more money not learning. So, uh, so to, to summarize, would I follow this curriculum? 100% with a tutor. So I look for someone who's pretty good at each topic and follow through. And you would get like a world-class education following this curriculum. So if you want to check it out, the description, the link is on the description. And I think you get a lot of benefit from this. Mathematics, for example. This course is from MIT. Are you going to get motivated by like working 13 weeks in hard mathematical problems? Unless you have a tutor, it's really hard. Or you have like the 0.0001% of discipline, which most people are not. So uh, do it and find tutors. That's my recommendation, right? So sign up, uh, subscribe to our channel, give me a thumbs up. And in the description, I have a link to a video where I tell the best ways to become a developer without a degree. Check it out and see you soon.